The urgent search for a missing Texas A&M University student has now entered its third week. The father of Caleb Harris pleading for the public's help to find his 21-year-old son. The university community and local authorities continue to search areas around the Corpus Christi campus. Caleb was last seen March 4th, just before 3 a.m., while walking his dog at his off-campus apartment complex. Now, the dog made it back home, but Caleb never did. Police say he took his phone, but about 15 minutes later, it was turned off or ran out of battery and Caleb seemingly vanished. So Caleb's father, Randy Harris, joins me live. Randy, thank you so much uh, for giving me some of your valuable time. First, what is the latest on the search for your son? Uh, it, just intensifying, working with the uh, authorities, police. Uh, they're doing you know everything they possibly can and, and getting additional help. And uh, we're, we're, we've got a lot of volunteers out searching as well in different areas as we, you know, we, we, we're beginning to get some leads so far. Nothing's panned out. You know, people, sometimes they think they may have seen, seen him or something like that. So they're out, you know, uh, checking those, those leads out as, as they come in. Uh, but right now, we still don't really have anything uh, solid that we can that we can go go look at yet. Yeah, and Randy, kind of walk us through what you know about his disappearance. You know, when he was last seen, we know he was walking his dog apparently, but then the dog somehow came home and and Caleb didn't. Yes, um, they had been they had gotten a new dog that evening, and uh, so they were out. Uh, there's several videos of of them playing with the dog and ring camera videos of them playing with the dog. Uh, he then took the dog out again at 2.44, Snapchatted my daughter a video, and then about 2.58, uh, his phone uh, just went offline, whether it was turned off or uh, ran out of battery. And uh, you know, he was planning for the next day, planning uh, his lunch, uh, waiting for Uber Eats to drop off, uh, you know, two Lunchables, an uh, apple pie, and uh, a Red Bull, and that was normal. Everything he did up to this point was 100% normal. He was a very um, scheduled, you know, individual and, and was texting me fishing lures uh, earlier in the evening of what he was planning on going fishing the next day and what he, you know, we, we do that a lot. And, uh, you know, everything was looking good, good grades, good, just everything. There's yeah. no, no indication of anything like he would, you know, be leaving or anything like that. It, you know, he, he left his his wallet, his keys. Uh, we we we're 100 percent sure he was barefooted even. Yeah. So, so, so Randy, you know, I I know this entire situation has to seem surreal for you. No parent ever thinks they're going to be in this situation. Is there something that stands out as being the most odd to you? I mean, if he was barefoot, if he left his wallet, I mean, if he was making plans for the next day, is there something that just doesn't seem to be adding up? Does all of it not add up? Really, all of it doesn't add. I mean, he's just, uh, we just don't know. You know, when, when, you have a, when you have a kid that's planning, you know, so much, you know, signing his apartment, doing, uh, getting ready for a work, in, in, working in Alaska, in King Salmon, Alaska this summer, uh, just, you know, friends, family, just is, is a very scheduled person, goes to school, comes home, grabs his fishing stuff with his roommates and they're out on the water fishing yeah. and they, that's what they do. And, and then, you know, he's a home, he's a homeboy. He, he likes to be, you know, in the apartment with his roommates, with friends, you know, playing, playing a video games, the typical college kid. Right. So, so Randy kind of just, you've told us, who Caleb is. You kind of described his personality. Is he the kind of kid, you know, because somebody may, may say, well, maybe he just left, but is he the kind of kid that would just leave like this and not tell anyone anything and not take his wallet no, and turn off his phone? Not at all. Yeah. Not not at all. I mean, he, he very rarely, you know, went anywhere other than to come home. Uh, you know, his his focus was, was there and focus is, you know, fishing and you know, we know where he goes fishing. You know, I can, I've always been able to track his phone. Um, so, you know, and I'll, I'll check on him to make sure, you know, I, we had just bought him a VHF radio. So he always had that attached to his shoulder and uh, just a very, uh, you know, having his first aid kits and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I know this, this is such a difficult situation and one, again, that 
no parent ever thinks they will be in. How have you and your family kind of been coping these past three weeks? Well, we, we rely on our faith and, um, you know, God's got a plan. We know that. And our hope is that not only we get Caleb back, but, but God will be glorified in a miraculous way through this. And uh, we just, we have to, we have to depend on our faith and our family and uh, the, just a sheer incredible amount of people that have helped us, uh, the volunteers that are out there still today doing different searches all over Corpus Christi. And the, the big thing that we that we really focus on too is anybody in the Corpus Christi area that may have a ring camera, yeah. go back and check the timeline from, you know, 2.30 to 3.30 or 2.30 to 4, check your timeline in, in, the, in the morning uh, because there's, there's ring cameras everywhere. Yeah, and so that we're really encouraging everybody to search the ring cameras again and see if they can see anything. You know, Randy, my last question for you. I mean, there is likely someone who knows something, something about your son's disappearance. What is your message to, to that person or to those people? Um, please say something. You know, if you if you see something, say something. Call nine one one. They're they're standing by. They are they they will they will address every nine one one call coming in, uh, directed towards Caleb, and they'll, they'll immediately uh, dispatch and they will uh, follow up on it. So we're just asking, pleading, uh, if anybody knows anything, please uh, reach out to the police, call nine one one, and uh, let's get our let's get Caleb home. Absolutely. Uh, Randy Harris, father of Caleb Harris, thank you so much for your time. And, and we certainly hope Caleb comes home soon and safe and OK. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.